Hello guys, this is Saruto Uchiha Storm here, and welcome to my channel today I am doing what if Naruto was the 10 tail fox please like and subscribe to my channel sorry I could have uploaded anything the last week because I have school and the schedule is hell Monday, Tuesday Friday 380 minutes. Wednesday 340 minutes Thursday 380 minutes that's for my high school life anyway let's get into the video. Chapter 17. Rating game and what happened to you? After the magnificent show of power by the leader of the yokai faction, all the factions that witnessed the event accepted in a good way the small advice, warning, by their leader, that they can be supernatural beings and in some cases semi-immortal. But even so, they had a brain and many of them used it in other words they are not stupid, who would look for a fight or a possible conflict with a being like Uzumaki Naruto, it is almost like going to office and hitting her in the face, in short many of them they wanted to live for at least another millennia if possible, and more so the demon faction, but even so there were several of them who laughed at the supremacy of the demon race, many thought how to get that power and create new super demons, the next day a meeting was called between the nobles and demon leaders, some of whom were outraged, scared, while others were furious at the threat to them and had, not so good, plans to kill them. Apologize for the warning and the mention of the stray demon Kuroka, but several of them came up with a possible solution, which was, fortunately, the most sensible, flashback home, underworld, council room, currently in the council room, were the four Maos and the leaders of the remaining 32 noble pillars, Bael, Agaras, Visago, Gamagan, Aemon, Barbados, Citri, Nibirius, Glacia Labalas, Bunay, Astaroth, Fernius, Furfer, Asmode, Stolas, Fenex, Raim, Focalor, Vepar, Sabnok, Shax, Uval, Cressel, Furkas, Balam, Gremory, Oriax, Vapula, Valak, Andrealfis, Belial, Dantalion, who were more than disgusted by the warning of the recently revealed protector of the yokai faction, at first, they thought he was just bragging, but minutes after finishing his transmission, several of the demons that were in Kyoto, Al were expelled by what seemed to be some kind of pressure, they claimed that several Tengus escorted them out of the Kyoto lands under that strange pressure, noble Aemon. This is unacceptable, how dare that dirty and filthy yokai say that? Noble Barbados. Ooh very brave, do you want me to call Uzumaki-sama so you can say it to his face? Noble Aemon. I don't think it's necessary, for now. Noble Nibirius. And not only that, but they also exposed that the criminal Kuroka is now under, her protection, Noble Agaras. Well after practically massacring an entire race of yokai, I think that protecting the few survivors is something logical, and more so when you are their leader, you don't think so, and we also have to take into account our alliance with the faction yokai, since we broke the previous one, noble Visago. That's true Uzumaki-sama has every right to want to protect the criminal Kuroka, since being a yokai falls under his protection, and more so knowing that we exterminated almost his entire race out of blind rage thanks to an idiot. Sirzex. That's true, and believe me when I tell you that, because of that stupidity, almost the entire demonic race is exterminated, it's lucky that we are not at war with such a monster, noble Gamagan. What is she afraid of, only in a yokai, besides the criminal Kuroka must be punished, for what she did, noble Bael. There is no need to conflict with Uzumaki-sama, so having a political marriage with several high-born devils like Seraphal Citri, by the way, congratulations Leviathan-sama, Seraphal only gave a smile and nodded accepting congratulations on her marriage, and continued, playing with her cell phone, every now and then she giggled somewhat, strangely, and blushed, noble Citri, Lord Hiroshi, it's true, the marriage ceremony with Uzumaki Naruto and Seraphal Leviathan will take place very soon, and as for Sona, I think she wants to have a chess game with him, noble Glacia Labalas, from what I hear from my son, Uzumaki Naruto-sama as a god, noble Bunei. How ridiculous how disgusting a yokai can a god be, I say make it clear to him that the criminal Kuroka will be killed once we capture her. Noble Astaroth. If I were you I would take care of my mouth, it seems you're spouting shit for her, your butt is losing his job, and Uzumaki-sama is not just any god, the Jubi no Kitsune, he's primordial, a being so powerful that he believed non-existent, possibly Ophis or Oboros is the only one to give him a challenge. With that statement, Several nobles began to comment on the good fortune they had in forming an alliance, and more than a Mao, Seraphal, marrying him, while others were filled with anger and hatred, knowing that the yokais had the support of a primordial, since the death of the original Lucifer, everything has changed and his faction has been losing power, and knowing that others are getting stronger bothered them a lot, noble Furnius. 
It seems that fortune favors us, and with the new power of the yokai faction, behind us, we will be unstoppable. Several of the nobles and demon leaders were more than excited about their new alliance and were already thinking about how to beat the other factions, but unfortunately, someone took them out of their bubble. Noble Asmode. And apparently we are not the only ones in this new alliance, since also the Archangel Gabriel is his fiancé, Noble Stolas. That's true, it seems the yokai faction will be a bridge between our factions, Noble Fenex, Lord Fenex, we the Fenex support, this marriage, that little comment made Seraphal's eyebrow twitch. Seraphal. It's not like I need his support to be happy you fucking idiots. Noble Rame. It seems to be more like. A limit, or chains for us. Noble Furfur. Also forming an alliance with the yokai may not be well seen by the masses, I say let's show what we are capable of. Many of the elders and nobles, did not like the fact that someone limited them, but it was either that or challenging a god, which would only cause their death and the complete extinction of their race, since which was the warning given by the very person who limited them, was a pretty effective deterrent, to all, noble Vepar. It is true that this alliance benefits us greatly, but it also has its disadvantages that we must take into account before accepting it, noble Sabnok. Well yes, to prevent us from unleashing a war where many of our own, march to their own death the so-called disadvantages, I don't think much care that this alliance has its disadvantages, noble Shacks. Besides, no matter who we're allied with, Many of us still haven't recovered from our previous war. Noble Yuval. You are implying that our warriors are weak. I say we go to war. Noble Cressel. As there can be more stupid people, please keep your filthy mouth shut. The bodily or in your case physical strength is different than the mental strength of our warriors. Noble Yuval. Cursed as you dare. This means war. Noble Furkas. What an idiot, muscle head. Some still haven't recovered from the emotional wounds they suffered in the previous war. Seeing a comrade, siblings, or even children die is not easy for anyone, noble Balam. It is not necessary to open old wounds to our people. Maus. What a hypocrite. They only care about power, Seraphal, and send, done. Noble Belial. It's true, there is a rumor about the Citri and Gremory heiresses, who also wish to marry Uzumaki-sama, is that true? Zeoticus and Hiroshi. Hell, how did you find out about that? Noble Gremory. Zeoticus. My daughter may have feelings for Uzumaki-sama, but she has to do with it. Noble Oriax. Oh it has to do a lot because if I'm not mistaken the queen of Lucifer-sama is also engaged. Sirzex. It's true, Grafia wants to marry Naruto-sama, and I'm not against it, besides I don't want to die if I refuse, Noble Vipula. I don't see what the problem is, demons are attracted to beings of immense power, and on rare occasions, we fall in love, it is a true miracle that they fell in love and that the man is someone extremely powerful. Noble Valak. That is true, the love of a demon is eternal, or tell me someone here thinks otherwise, all the demons in the room denied, in that he was right because, if a demon falls in love for real, not even God could deny his love, and that was what happened with the original Lucifer and Lilith, that's why when they denied him a love for Lucifer he revealed himself against God and consequently was expelled from heaven, the truth that all demons knew, and that is why if someone finds true love, no one will deny it, nor will they be against it, noble Gremory. Zeoticus. I also understand that Naruto-sama put a condition on them, which is if they are still in love with him, when they have fulfilled their dreams or goals, and still love him, he would gladly agree to marry them, but in case they don't love him anymore, he will let them go without any problem, Andrealfus Nobles. A rather strange person in my opinion, but still a bit delusional, Noble Gremory, Zeoticus. Why do you say that, Noble Andrealfus? Since dreams or goals change regardless of the person and we are not the exception or am I wrong, Noble Gremory, Zeoticus, you're not quite right, maybe this will help them. Noble Belial. That does not matter, previously we requested a marriage with his daughter, but he refused, I say that we ask him to reconsider, Noble Oriax. We may need to order a slightly different wood, Seraphal. I see that some insects are becoming a bit arrogant, Noble Focalor. Leviathan Dono. I think you have to think things through and leave the emotional side aside, this will benefit our faction. Noble Bunne. In addition, this possible marriage will strengthen our alliance, I propose my heir as a possible candidate, in that, a pressure like no other was felt, almost the nobles and demon leaders began to sweat, those who felt the pressure, began to sweat, the lack of oxygen was an indication, their bodies asked for death, and many of them began to have illusions about their deaths, with every second the pressure seemed to increase, Everything moved extremely slowly as if time itself was static as if it also suffered from this presence, two people knew who was responsible for such an act, but the stupid person was not lacking, noble Yuval. Whoever threatens to interrupt us, 
Make yourself known or we will have to take drastic measures. In that the big doors of the meeting room open in a rush, while the pressure seemed to double when opening the doors, everyone with great effort directed their eyes towards the doors, only to be filled with horror and fear, the person standing at the entrance was nothing more and nothing less than Uzumaki Naruto, and he had a face of very few friends, his eyes lacked the brightness that many recognized as the passive or kind side of people, most of the old demons recognized that kind of eyes, they were the eyes that the great Lucifer had at the time of his when he saw his father before the first war broke out, the death wish or in his case the desire to step on his hearts and then spit on them, Naruto. Wow, wow, I thought I heard a couple of bugs buzzing. Seraphal. Naru Tan, your Sarah Tan, loves you very much, Naruto. I love you too Sarah Chan, but well what were you saying about marriage with my little princess? The pressure increased once again, which seemed that gravity itself was at the mercy of the powerful god, who wanted an answer for the fact that someone wanted to use his little girl. Noble Niberius. I should be happy her daughter will have the privilege of marrying a pure blood devil, that simple comment gave him a direct pass to his death, since his body lit up in black flames, nobody knew what had happened, while the remaining three Maos remained on the sidelines, they did not want to be the next ones, in addition to the fact that Sirzex had a family to care for, noble Aemon, how dare you, after we're giving your filthy family the honor of becoming part of our race, noble Furfur, that's right half-breeds are not well seen, among us unless they are pure blood, noble Vepar, but since you dared to go against our goodwill, it seems that we will have to show you why demons are superior beings, noble Yuval. But don't worry, your family will serve as an example, ha 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 ha, and more so your wife and daughter. After those words were given by the garbage, all hell broke loose in that small room, which had many spectators, who were happy if they had brains since several screams were heard from the poor victims, who were suffering both physically and mentally. After a few hours of torture the assailant withdrew with a smile not before giving his future wife a kiss before leaving the room, noble dantalion then i think we can end this meeting you disagree damn we agree flashback end after putting aside the matter of kuroka and the heiress's gremory and Sitri, in a somewhat peaceful manner naruto withdrew from it and the meeting continued naturally preparing for the start of the raiding games which would be in the future three days to this day one a beautiful mayan in the Sitri mansion in which the inhabitants had not yet gotten up well except for the family maids who were preparing everything for the noble Sitri family from preparing the bath to breakfast, everything was done in silence so as not to disturb the family's sleep, everything was peace and quiet, except in a room where there is Uzumaki Naruto, Uzumaki Yusaka, Uzumaki, Sitri Serafal, Uzumaki, Gabriel and, Uzumaki, Hestia, the family growing Uzumaki was sleeping pleasantly until the little princess of Kyoto, Uzumaki Kuno decided it was time to raise her beautiful family. Kuno. Well, in a quick movement of feet, he kicked the blankets off her bed, and he got up running in the direction of the bed of his father and mother, taking a last impulse of speed, he took a great jump, Kuno. Days Otou San, Oka San, the little princess of Kyoto, every morning since her dear father came back, gets up early and runs straight to his room, and jumps on him to wake him up with all the love a daughter can give to her father and mother, and the same that every morning she is caught by a beautiful golden tail, with a red tip, which wraps around her small waist and keeps her suspended over her father who was always under the covers trying to hide from the sun's rays, Naruto. Ah good morning, princess, it's still very early, Kuno. Oto-san, you have to get up early to enjoy the day to the fullest. Naruto. How about you sleep better a little more with your father? The little princess knew that Naruto was lazy, thanks to her aunt Matabi who told her that he and his uncle Kurama were quite lazy and after a long time she came to the conclusion that it was because the foxes loved to sleep as much as make jokes, but to her surprise and amusement in a quick movement by her father, she was submerged in the sea of blankets and tails, in which Yusaka was also entangled into her surprise, there was also Seraphal, Gabriel and Hestia who was also in the same situation, but what puzzled her was that they seemed to be more than happy, it was as if their faces were some kind of mysterious glow, which made them look bright, she turned to see her father the which was in a kind of hood made up of their tails, so he returned to his mission which was to raise his father, Kuno. Oto-san you have to get up, the Gremory family is coming today so you will see Grafia Oka-sama, Naruto. Yes, but they won't arrive until afternoon, and Oto-san wants to sleep some more. Kuno. You leave me no choice, Oka-san, Oto-san doesn't love me anymore. At the moment that Kuno said that, an electric shock occurred inside Naruto's head, which woke him up completely awake, and in an imperceptible movement, he already found himself hugging his daughter. Naruto. I will never stop loving you, you are my daughter, my greatest pride. 
the engine in my life, my will to live, I would do anything to see you always happy. I would even destroy this world, and if necessary, the universe itself, Yasaka. Naru I know you love Kuno-chan, but you shouldn't joke about it. Naruto. Who said I'm kidding, I would do it if necessary, or if any of you get hurt or ask me, whichever comes first, Seraphal. Naru-tan is too overprotective. Gabriel. Naru-chan, he loves us too much, he 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 he, Hestia, and we still love him, Naruto. Sure, she is my daughter, and my future children, besides a father has to make sacrifices for the happiness of his children, Kuno. Oto-san, I was joking, I will never stop loving you, Naruto. Ooh, my princess, you Oto-san tilde I love you too much tilde, the magnificent moment between her father and her daughter and her demonstration of affection, where Naruto hugged her and rubbed her cheek against hers, Naruto. Well, what are we going to do today? Seraphal. First thing on the agenda is breakfast, then a meeting with the Gremory family, Hestia. Then I and Gabriel will leave before, we have to prepare before we leave, Gabriel. It's true, see you Naru, Yusaka chan Kuno-chan, Sarah-chan. And so Gabriel and Hestia disappeared in their respective transportation magic, and as if it were magic or rehearsed in advance with perfect timing, someone knocked on the door, A. N. You may be wondering why you didn't say the names of Gabriel and Hestia. Well the reason is simple she didn't feel their presence. Maid X. Naruto-sama. Yusaka-sama. Kuno-sama. Seraphal-sama. Breakfast is ready. Seraphal. Thanks in a moment let's go. After that, breakfast was relatively normal. Nothing out of the ordinary except for the looks that Naruto received from Sona and her nobility. Which were between blushing and excited. Which Naruto played down. At that moment he only had eyes for their wives and their daughter. Sona. Seraphal Onisama. You look different, Seraphal. Hum. Sona. You seem to shine, Seraphal. Well Sarah Tan, it always shines, Sona. Yes, but your brightness is different, sometimes before, as if you had reached enlightenment. Azami. Era, era, it seems Sarah Chan got his goal, I remember when I got mine, isn't that right dear Tilda? Hiroshi. That's right dear, all I can say is luck, Yasaka. Well Naruto-kun's luck is really good, isn't it true Seraphal, Seraphal? Hi, you have incredible luck, which seems to have no end tilde. And so they continued with their talk, which had a double meaning. At some point almost all the women met and talked about certain abilities and control of their husbands, and the men, Naruto and Hiroshi, discussed certain issues, which they were extremely important which needed to be discussed a little, or a lot, away from the women in the room. So they just talked across the room of course discreetly, and the subject at hand is about their books and futures. Hits. Naruto. If the title of the next book will be, Night Beauty, Hiroshi. And do you think you can tell me to try? Please Tilda. Naruto. Well Tilda, she will be a beautiful woman who, despite being a little different from the others, is marginalized, but she falls in love with a man, who holds out her hand in a friendly way. Hiroshi. And there will be a, plot, Naruto. Well Tilda, I think there will be a little or a lot of plot. As for the little princess of Kyoto Kuno, well she is playing with her balls, guardian dragons, which were raised by her dear father, who only told them something, e, which really scared them so they decided always be close to her, to protect her and of course eat, everything was peace and tranquility the women talking, the men laughing and of course, the little girl playing, that's how time passed until, made s, I'm sorry to interrupt, but the Gremory family just arrived, Hiroshi, send them into the lounge, and also prepare some drinks and snacks, made s, right away Lord Hiroshi, Hiroshi, well I think we should move, to a more comfortable place, and so everyone moved to the room which was relatively large, the path was led by Hiroshi followed by Naruto who was carrying Kuno in his arms, and with their tails their dragons which could not fly because they were so round, a few steps behind came the girls who talked animatedly, when they arrived at the room once again they divided into different parts, the women occupied the armchairs in the room which were really spacious, and when the men, well, they settled with the individual chairs, Kuno is playing with her balls in the center of the room. Minutes later the members of the Gremory family arrived. The first to enter were Lord and Lady Gremory, Zeoticus and Venelana. Then Sears X and Graphia entered, and at, in the end, Rias and her entourage entered, Issei is not there, and strangely enough, Azazel was also with them. The moment they entered the room without a single word, they all divided into their res respective groups women on the one hand and men on the same, a, n. Issei and Saji are not in the underworld. They left them in the human world because of how weak they were and so as not to piss Naruto. Hiroshi. Ooh Zeoticus. Yes they took a long time to arrive, Zeoticus. What can I tell you girls take time to get ready? Sears X. It's true, 
Grafia finished arranging her things and explaining her new duties to my wife, before coming she was exhausted, but she sends her regards, Azazel, ha ha ha, poor you Lucifer, your strap will be tighter, ha 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 ha, as for my sight, Kiba, Icha Icha Paradise, Eternal Youth, Gasper, Wu, from the famous Icha Icha Paradise series, and that's one of the first to come out, it's worth millions like he got it, Kiba, how do you know so much about them, Gasper, well, I started reading them, but not the Icha Icha Paradise series, but their other stories, they're really good, here's their first hit, Kiba, the child of the prophecy, Gasper, yes, when it came out it automatically took the number one position as the best-selling book, months later his other books were a resounding success, they took the number one, number two, and number three places in different categories from action, fantasy, romance and many more, many consider him a genius writer, Hiroshi and Ziodicus. Do you think you can lend it to me, Azazel? I never had to beg, cry tears of blood and ask for a miracle to get it, and more to be signed by the author, once I finished reading it I will keep it in a vault to keep it, Naruto. Even so, I think you exaggerated when you started crying for me to sign it, you are an adult you should behave like one, Hiroshi and Ziodicus. You damn envy crow, it will do you nothing to lend it to us, Azazel. Never, it's mine and only mine, my precise tilde, while Azazel, Hiroshi, Ziodicus, and Sirzex shouted at each other like children for the book, Gasper took advantage and approached Naruto, Gasper. Naruto-sama, do you think you can sign my book, please tilde, Naruto. Ooh, the child of prophecy, this was my first job, sure, here you go, Gasper. To my cute little fan, for reminding me of my origins, I thank you, sincerely Uzumaki Naruto, thank you so much, Naruto. No, you have to. At that moment, Naruto felt that someone was pulling his tail, and he only turned to see his daughter looking for his attention. Kuno. Oto-san, can you carry me? Please, Naruto. Sure, princess whenever you want, I'm glad to get out of the gap, who would have imagined I would have such a beautiful daughter, I always wanted a loving family. At that moment the girls approached, but it was clear that he had reached a resolution, and it had to do with Naruto in his eyes, his objective was more than clear, but our blonde is still very green in this type of matter. Naruto. Oh guys I see you're done talking, girls. That's right and we reached an agreement, men. Okay, girls. That's right. At that moment Yusaka, Seraphal, Grafia, Sona, Rias, Akano, Kaneko, Asia, Xenovia, and Rosewisha stepped forward, standing right in front of Naruto, who had Kuno in his arms. Yusaka. Honey, the girls want to tell you something, I know it may sound irrational, Seraphal. But I ask you to listen to them, they have as much right as we do, Grafia. Do it for us, please, Naruto. I don't know what it is, but I'll listen to you, you don't need to ask me, well girls tell me, Sona. Naruto-sama, we didn't realize something recently. Naruto. Rias. As the demons know we are greedy, when we want something we do whatever it takes to get it. Akano. And when we can't get it right the first time, we try again, and even if it causes a war. Kaneko. Previously I told us, that he would accept our proposal only if we fulfilled our goals in life. Asia. Our goals are not easy, many of them are practically impossible, but recently we did not realize that we can change them. Xenovia. For that reason, we have decided that our new goal which is to be part of something bigger. Rosewisha. Most of us, we have always been alone, and when we thought we had found someone who loved us. Sona, Rias, Akano, Kaneko, Asia, Xenovia, Rosewisha. He, he was just looking for our bodies, Sona. Just to see, how happy Seraphal and Sama is. Rias. We know how happy and lucky she is to be by her side, Akano. And we are a bit jealous of their wives, Kaneko. We can feel the love and happiness they feel for their family. Asia. It's really beautiful, it's like being close to the sun it's so warm, Xenovia. We had felt the same feeling before, it's so welcoming and protective. Rosewisha. It makes us always want to be close to you, we also want to be loved, Naruto. Well I really love my family, they are everything to me, Yusaka. Besides that, her aura is not only welcoming, it's also unique, Seraphal. Naru Tan is the best man in the universe, the love he feels for us and our little Kuno, is so vast, Grafia, that without knowing why you want to be by his side, and be part of that love forever, Naruto. Well a long time ago a person told me, true strength comes from wanting to protect your loved ones, at that time I didn't understand its meaning, but now, Kuno. Oto-san is very strong because he wants to protect me from any bad person, Yusaka. Not only you Masumi, Naru is strong because he has us, Seraphal. Don't forget Gabriel and Hestia, all of us are also strong because we have him, Yusaka, Seraphal, Grafia. 
And for that, we love him, with all our being, Sona. That's why we seven have made a decision, we want to be with Uzumaki Naruto. Naruto. But what about his goals and dreams, Rias? No, now we have a new goal, Sona, Rias, Akano, Kaneko, Asia, Xenovia, Rosewisha. We want to be your wives. After that Naruto, I only accept his decision since he knew that women are reluctant when deciding something. The following days were really boring. He spent most of the time in the sea tree or Gremory mansion since he decided to train the women. Girls, flashback home, Naruto. Well if you want to be with me you will have to be strong, in case you are attacked you must have enough strength, to be able to win or defend yourself until I come to help you, that's why I will train each one of you to reach your potential, but we will not do it here, but in the dimensional vacuum, Naruto. First Rias, your power of destruction is really impressive, but you still don't know how to use it 100%, Rias. But if I train just like my brother, Naruto, Rias Chan, you are not Sirzex, he has his style, and you must create your own, being your power this should not hurt you much, but as I see that you are the launcher type your training will be more control, and you will try to change the density of your power so your task is to compress your power of destruction into a marble, first create a sphere with all your power in it, Rias. So, Naruto, now I want you to compress it, but be careful the more you compress it the more unstable it will become and explode, Rias. You want me to die that's practically impossible, Naruto. I know it can be difficult, but it's not impossible, if you do it I'll give you a reward, Rias. Hi, Naruto. Akano-chan. The lightning bolts are really powerful, they have the power to go through almost everything, but you must learn to use them. A while ago I met a muscle head who used them like armor. The technique was called Raiden no Yoroi era really strong and fast, a single one of his fingers could kill just by touching you it was known as the strongest shield and spear, you will train to create lightning arrows, like the Zeus insect, only yours must be smaller, what which plows faster and more lethal, Akano, era, era, hi Naruto sensei, but I also want a reward, Naruto, okay Kaneko chan your strength is almost equal to my little girls, go with her and have a showdown, you'll also get a reward if you improve enough, Kaneko, okay, Naruto, Gasper kun, the truth is that your power reminds me a few of my eyes, but unfortunately your strength can only grow if your will also grows, that's why you will have physical training, your routine will be 100 sit-ups, 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups and run 10 kilometers daily from now on, Gasper. I will die, I will definitely die, Naruto. No, but you're in hell, now go to Azazel and don't let up for a moment, Naruto. Now Asya-chan, your power is healing, a while ago they told me that healers shouldn't be on the battlefield, but my grandmother figure and a friend or doctors Nin and Cream are really strong, not as much as me, of course, that's why you will train your physique the same, only you will plow half as much as Gasper and you will train your power to exhaustion, which will make your magical reserves grow, Asia. This, you see, Naruto-sama, I will also have a reward when I finish, Naruto. Yes, you will also have it, now Xenovia-chan and Kiba-kun, are really strong, but still they don't know how to use their swords correctly, they don't have any style and that is what affects them so I will force them to adapt and create your own style of sword, and the only way to create something like that is through fights to the death, in other words, I'll hit you with the intention of killing you, so prepare yourselves, also it will allow me to try the sword of Hephaestus, Kiba and Xenovia. Hi, Naruto. As for Rosewisha, she has incredible control over his magical reserves, but unfortunately she doesn't have much attack power, so we'll focus on improving her magical attack and also strengthening her self-esteem. Rosewisha. But, if I don't have self-esteem problems, I'm very happy. Naruto. Grafia. Seriously, then let's see, where is your boyfriend, you shouldn't be home at your age, if you continue like this you will stay single all your life. Rosewisha. I. Don't. Have. Problems. Of. Self-esteem. Yes I know I didn't have any boyfriend. Maybe I'm not attractive. Naruto. Then to train everyone. After that they were taken to Naruto's personal dimensional vacuum, their time was non-existent so they could train since outside time moved relatively slowly, but since they only had three days they had to make the most of their training and began their torture, flashback end, after two days, Naruto returned, and with them the Gremory entourage, which had excellent progress in their training, they all met their goals but suffered to achieve them, when Yusaka, Hestia, Gabriel, Grafia, and Seraphal returned, they realized that her husband had the biggest smile as ever seen, which was only surpassed by the one he put on when he learned of the existence of his little princess, when they looked at his young pupils they realized that several of them have different emotions when they see him, which were fear, terror, respect, admiration, love, and lust. 
but when they saw her husband they realized that he ignored those emotions, Sona was glad not to have participated in the training since at first she also felt he thought about including her with his entourage, but she refused to say that she would not participate, as her goal was not to become queen of the games. Stadium Location Rating Game on the great day in which the final match between King Cyroorg Bael and King Rias Gremory will take place, Rias and her entourage were a little nervous, because before heading to the stadium they looked for their teacher, to get a few words of advice. Breath. But according to his wives, he left before. A. N. You will ask why I jumped to the end of the rating game. Well the answer is simple because I want to. H A H A H A H A H A. No the truth is that the fight between Rias Gremory Vsdiodora Astaroth happened before all the Kioto fart. Announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to witness the final battle between the Bael family and Gremory, but before welcoming the participants, let's see who will join us in the cabin the first, it is known to be one of the four great geniuses in the ancient war, his presence instills fear in our enemies, this person is nothing more and nothing less than Mao Lucifer Sama, at that moment a red summoning circle appeared from which Sirzex came out with his typical Mao clothing, which showed his status, while still retaining his humility and gentleness. Sirzex. Hello, it is a real pleasure to be here. Announcer. It's an honor to have you here Mao Sama. Well the next person who is known for his wickedness and spending most of his time wandering, is none other than the leader of the grimoire, the fallen angel Azazel. Azazel's entrance was a more personal one, as black feathers began to fall throughout the stadium, and from heaven the fallen angel Azazel, with his typical playboy man's clothing, Azazel. Hey, who gave you that, and what's up with that way of introducing me, you should praise my entry, host. My source of information is confidential, and all it did was give the cleaning staff more work, Azazel. Disrespectful brats, no one cares about my input, announcer. Hi, hi. Well now the last person, ladies, and gentlemen recently made himself known, you are powerful that almost has no equal. But not only is he powerful he is also lucky with women, but his love is not only from his wives since he also has a beautiful daughter, who takes most of his heart, it is nothing more and nothing less the Jubi no Kitsune, Uzumaki Naruto-sama, everyone was silent and shocked since he walked towards the box as if it were a normal human, but that was not the reason for his shock, it was not his appearance since the Naruto who walked towards the box of presenters, was not an adult, he was not a little boy of no more than 13 years old, a Shota Naruto, wearing nothing more and nothing less than his neon orange suit, Naruto Chibi. Hello, it's a pleasure to be here. The stadium is silent, no one could formulate a single word, seeing such a powerful being in the form of a child was quite strange and unique since they only knew one other person who had the form of a child and was practically one of the most dangerous existences. Strong in the supernatural world, but silence is not eternal, since there is always someone who interrupts it, and this person was nothing more and nothing less than the little princess of Kyoto who loved the appearance of her father, Kuno. Oto-sama. This cute little one. Oto-u-sama. We are here. Naruto. Ooh. Hello princess here is your Oto-san. Izazel. But what the hell happened to you? Naruto. A. Ooh you mean because I'm small. Well I realized that it's easier to be like this. This appearance has certain advantages, which favor me. The height. Above all. He he he. Announcer. Well then. Let the games begin. Once the confrontation of both families began, which was decided in the following way, neither would use pawns, since both Cyroorg and Rias could not or did not want to use their pawns, one for being practically the weakest and most useless, Issei, and the other for being unstable, Regulus. That's why they decided it would be a 2 versus 2 match, the first with 3 victories wins, announcer. It seems that it will be quite a fierce fight. A few words from our prestigious guests, Azazel. Torres versus Torres. They both specialize in close combat, it will be pretty even, don't you think so Lucifer Dono, Sirzex? We can only see who will be the winner, which piece you Uzumaki Dono, Naruto Shoda. I think the winner will be the Gremory team, after all, I trained them, he he he. Towers vs Towers, announcer, on the side of Cyroorg Bael, Gandoma Balam, Tower of Cyroorg of the House of Balam, one of the remaining families of the 72 pillars, and Ladora Bunei, Tower of Cyroorg of the House of Bunei one of the extinct families of the 72 pillars that tames dragons. Announcer. On the side of Rias Gremory, Kaniko Teju, a Nekomata, a yokai specialist in Senjutsu in close combat, and Rosewisha, a Valkyrie specialist in long-distance combat and support, and, a. To give you an idea, presenter, Gremory team winner, the previous match was really a clash of titans, the strength shown by the towers of both teams shows the care they put into training, 
Now let's see how the next match unfolds which is between the bishops, which promises us to be more than skill. A few words from our guests, Azazel. Arranged combat, but it all depends on the skill of the caster, they don't think so Lucifer Dono, Uzumaki Dono, Sirzex. It is true in the previous one we saw the skill in a heads up, now everything depends on the speed of the launch and strategy, Naruto Shota. It's true, no one knows how this fight will unfold. Bishops vs. Bishops, host. Side by side with Cyroorg Bael, Koreana Andrielfis, and Mistita Sabnok, N, A. To give you an idea, presenter, Gremory team winner, the previous match was really a clash of titans, the strength shown by the towers of both teams shows the care they put into training. Now let's see how the next match unfolds which is between the bishops, which promises us to be more than skill. A few words from our guests, Azazel. Arranged combat, but it all depends on the skill of the caster, they don't think so Lucifer Dono, Uzumaki Dono, Sirzex. It is true in the previous one we saw the skill in a heads up, now everything depends on the speed of the launch and strategy, Naruto Shota. It's true, no one knows how this fight will unfold. Bishops vs Bishops, host. Side by side with Cyroorg Bael, Koreana Andrielfis, and Mistita Sabnok side by side with Rias Gremory, Asia Argento, and Gaspar Vladi, N, A. To give you an idea, presenter. Bael team winner. But what a display of skills was really spectacular, it was quite closed who would think that healing could be used in such a way, and what happens with that monstrous strength, and in terms of magic management, the combination was imposing of elements, and that control over time was wow. But now let's see how the next one unfolds which will be how to say really fast since both teams have skilled swordsmen. A few words from our guests, Azazel. It may just be a simple encounter between swordsmen without using skills. Sirzex. It is true it will be only skill and skill with swords, Naruto Shoda. A swordsman's pride can be impressive, but it can also be his undoing. Knights vs Knights, host. Side by side with Cyroorg Bael, Liban Cressel and Baruka Furkas, announcer. Side by side with Rias Gremory, Yuto Kiba, and Xenovia Quarta, N, A. To give you an idea of your skills, presenter. Winner Team Gremory, but what skill should be emphasized that their teacher must have trained them in hell itself? At the moment this fight began you could feel that a single movement would represent defeat. What kind of training did they undergo to achieve that level at such a young age? Now we will see the long-awaited combat which will be the clash of both kings with their respective queens. It will show us the same skills as their companions or it will be a greater display of so much skill, strategy, and power. Some words from our guests. Azazel. Well being the sister of the current Lucifer, as the daughter of my second in command, I can say that it will be really spectacular, don't you think so? Sirzex, Rias Tan, she's really strong, but not because she's my sister, she went through the same hell to get her current strength, I don't think so Uzumaki Dono, Naruto Shota, ha 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 ha, of course, if they will see I will train them myself, and believe me she will surprise us all ha ha ha. King and Queen vs King and Queen. Announcer. Being King Cyroorg Bael, accompanied by his Queen Kusha Abaddon, and being King Rias Gremory, who her Queen Akano Himejima accompanied. A. N. And I leave this one to your imagination. H A H A H A H A H A. Announcer. I can't believe this is a draw we have a draw. A double winner team Gremory, and Bael. No one can be against after such a display of power, strategy, and skill, but let's hear a few words from our guests, Azazel. It really was an excellent match, Sirzex. Both kings and queens have shown their abilities and power, Naruto Shoda. They are really worthy of being called kings. Chapter 18 Loli vs Shoda. Location. Seatree Mansion Backyard. It's been about two weeks since the raiding games ended, surprisingly Rias tied with Cyroorg, which made his family very happy as for Cyroorg. He got a little depressed since he promised himself to be the strongest for his mother, which well she was bedridden since she was in a kind of coma, but as for her master Shoda well he didn't take it very well if they won, but even so, it was almost a miracle Cyroorg is a rock lee, that boy he is pure muscle with proper training, that child will become a monster in close combat, of course, he did not inherit the power of destruction of the Bael, but even so, he is a monster, a small one but a monster after all. Location. Sea Tree Mansion, Naruto is talking to Rias's entourage, about his rewards, which he promised them before starting his beautiful and easy training. Naruto. Once again, congratulations to all of you, it doesn't matter if you won or lost your fights, because you learn from defeat, but not so much from victory. Rias, Akano, Gaspar, Kaneko, Kiba, Asia, Rosewisha. Thank you Naruto-sensei. Rias, as for our rewards, Akano. I want a piece of Naruto-sensei, Kaneko. Sweets, Asia. 
a book in sweets, Zenovia, Sons, Strong, Rosewisha. A date, Gasper. A book autographed by you, Kiba. More. Training? Naruto. Well listening to your respective requests I have to say that some will be accepted, Asia, Gasper. Here I have my next book the title is, The Origin of the Rabbit Goddess, of course, it is already signed, Gasper. Wow, thank you very much, Naruto Sensei, Asia. Thank you, Naruto Sensei, Naruto. As for you Kiba, I didn't know you were a masochist, but as your teacher, I will fulfill your wish and train you rigorously, ha 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 ha, Kiba. I can take it back, Naruto. Nope, you're a man and you face your destiny, and as for Rias, Akano and Zenovia I'm sorry but they're still too young and older to have children Zenovia, Asia, Kaneko then I'll take them for some sweets, I'll also take Kuno, they agree, Kaneko, hum, okay, Asia, yep, Rias and Akano, Zenovia, that's not what we agreed on, it's not true I'm more than ready, Naruto, exactly, I promised them a reward, but I never agreed that I would accept it, they are demons please, deceive this in her blood, also a fox is always more cunning, as for Rosewisha she will have her date, Rias, Hey, why would you take her on a date? Akano. Era, era, Naruto sensei that's not fair, he deserves a punishment, Zenovia. Where is the equality? Naruto. At first Rose Chan just asked for a date, I don't see the problem with that, instead, you are asking for something too crazy, Zenovia. I just want to take your son, Rias, Akano. In other words, you want to have sex with him, Zenovia. I don't know why you get angry, you want to do it too, Naruto. I already told you that what you feel is not love, it is admiration and obsession, Rias, Akano, Zenovia. How do you know we don't love you, Naruto? A long time ago I met a girl who also felt the same as you, her name is Hayuga Hanada, and she was the same as you, her love was the same or worse, that's why she knows, but before continuing with her conversation, she was interrupted by a maid, who reported the arrival of Syroorg Bael, who came for a matter of great importance. Syroorg. Uzumaki-sama, it's a real privilege to meet you, I'm sorry to come unannounced, Naruto. Ooh you're a boy, Syroorg Bael, aren't you? Syroorg. It's really an honor to be remembered by you, Naruto. Ooh come on leave that, you don't need to act so formal with me, you can relax just tell me Naruto, besides I've never liked formalities, Syroorg. Okay Naruto-san, I wanted to ask you a favor, Naruto. A favor, do you want me to kill someone, or, Syroorg? What? No of course not. Naruto. Well tell me what you need, Syroorg. Vera. It's about my mother, Naruto. Hum, your mother? Syroorg. Yes, her name is Misla Bael. And with that Syroorg told Naruto that everything related to his mother Misla Bael was the reason why he did not use the power of destruction, since he did not inherit from the Bael family, and for that reason, he and his mother were treated in a bad way being despised and sometimes ridiculed, even by his own father. This really pissed off Naruto a father must take care and protect his family regardless of the sacrifices, even if his own, father's, family is against it. Hell even if the world itself is against him Naruto would burn him in flames, that's what a father, husband should do, and thanks to this he finally brought about the transfer or exile of his mother and him, to a small mansion in the countryside of the Bael territory. Later his mother contradicts a strange illness which would cause him to go into a coma, claiming his, butler that it is a common illness faced by the demons in which they remain in a coma and eventually die. Naruto. I see, so what you want is for me to see your mother, and if I'm able to cure her, right? Syroorg. That's right, please I beg of you. At that moment Syroorg knelt down and seconds later hit his head on the ground. Everyone swore to hear their own skulls crack, it wasn't them, but it still hurt. Syroorg. You are a god, and not just any god, the most powerful being, a primordial, I hope that with her immense power and knowledge I can heal her, I beg you, please save my mother. Naruto. Hey, you don't need to kneel, even though I don't consider myself an expert in healing, I can give you a look, a, n. Well you have to learn something after studying and training for more than 300 years in the gap, it is not true, Syroorg. Really, I would appreciate it, no matter if I cling to the slightest hope of saving my mother, thank you very much, location bael grounds misla bael personal room, doctor. Syroorg sama, we didn't expect you back so soon, Syroorg. Well I've found someone who can possibly treat my mother, doctor. And if I could know, who is that person? What's up doc? He's glad to know that someone can cure his patient, doctor. Who are you? Surely you want to beat Syroorg sama, I fooled the brat. H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A. What a good joke, doc. Doctor. You still don't answer my question, brat, 
WHO are you? Ooh, where are my manners? My name is Uzumaki Naruto, and I'm a yokai kitsune, doctor. A creep, yokai trying to be a doctor. Ha he must be kidding, Naruto. I, a doctor, ha ha ha. What's up? I'm not, doctor. How dare you want to deceive Saiorg-sama, Naruto. You should take better care of that tongue doc. Who knows what kind of monsters you might run into, doctor. I'm not afraid of a damn brat, even more being a disgusting yokai. Naruto. Ooh, but look at the guts this insect has. I think you don't know what kind of monster you have in front of you, and unfortunately, no one can save you now. Doctor, please. Please, forgive me, life. I didn't. Knew. Dot dot. I'm sorry. Naruto. A demon asking forgiveness. Ha 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 ha. You're pathetic. Sometimes ignorance can be your downed. Now just die well it's time to see your mother. During the entire conversation Syroorg remained silent. Not out of respect but out of fear. Naruto's growing anger which was growing throughout the conversation, made him keep his mouth shut, but instead, the doctor seemed to get angrier as they continued talking, a moment in which he no longer knew, who would kill the doctor or him, fortunately, it was not him, Syroorg. Oh yes, please, Naruto. Sharingan. I see, Syroorg. What, is she alright? Naruto. If she's alright, just tell me one thing, your mother, which clan does she come from? Syroorg. Huh, she's from the Vipula clan, Naruto. If I remember correctly they are specialists in dominating or subduing lions, it is not true, Syroorg. That's right, but what does that have to do with her? Naruto. Tell me one thing, what was your pawn's name? Syroorg. Regulus, Naruto. I see, he's a sacred gear isn't he? Syroorg. Yes, he is one of the thirteen Longinus, Regulus Nemea, Naruto. The Nemean lion, I see one last question, how long ago did you tame it? Syroorg. A couple of years ago. I don't remember, Naruto. I see, I guess you weren't that strong back then, right? Syroorg. That's right, he was weak, at that time I almost died when I faced him, Naruto. Well now I understand everything, listen well I don't know if my theory is correct, but when your mother fell into a coma, she possibly unconsciously formed a spiritual bridge with you, but apparently it was in one direction. Strengthened the demonic powers of your clan, Syroorg. But if I could never manifest the power of destruction, Naruto. Not those powers, I'm talking about your other clan, Syroorg. The Pula but that's impossible, Naruto. Your pawn is a lion, and not just any lion a sacred gear with a will, it is very powerful so much so that it would be impossible for you to subdue it alone if it weren't for the help provided by your mother, now what I see is that it still hasn't closed the link she has with you for that reason, she is still in a coma her consciousness has not returned to her body, that's why I will close it or cut it, which should help her wake up, Syroorg. Do you really think it will work, Naruto? Sure, it's easy, it's like closing a door, but for that, I have to enter her mind, don't worry I won't hurt her, Syroorg. Okay, location mental space of Uzumaki Naruto and M-I-S-L-A-B-A-E-L, -E Naruto. Wow, this place is quite nice, it's better than the dump I had in my youth, Bijus. Hey. We're life you know, Naruto. Yes, yes, stop complaining and go back to sleep, hairballs, Bijus. But what a disrespectful brother, Naruto, I heard that. Now, where is Miss Lasan? Well, I just have to walk until I meet her. Naruto walked through the confines of Misla's mind, which looked like a beautiful garden but seemed to be more of a wooded labyrinth, and in which there are different flowers, of various colors from bright and cheerful to dark and depressing, he deduced that the roses represented her memories or experiences, some of them were more beautiful than others which I attribute to how happy or beautiful that moment was for her. That's why I conclude that the most beautiful were her happy experiences while the most depressing and ugly were her worst memories or fears the most painful or the difficult to forget, Everyone has different ways of representing their memories, instead, he visualized them as rooms and inside each of them there were countless bubbles, which were his memories, Naruto. Well everyone has a way to represent their memories, I can't complain, although their mental space is better than mine, cleaner and more orderly, the further you went into the maze the more depressing it became, of course, there weren't as many flowers as the outside but there were still one or another rose, several of them in fact, Naruto. How strange if there aren't as many roses as at the beginning. Apparently it has more happy moments than depressing ones, but still I don't see any so bad, only sad and depressing. He walked for what seemed like a few hours, and when he finally reached the center of the labyrinth he found a garden gazebo, Miss La Bael was in it, but what Naruto didn't like was that she was surrounded by black roses, which his worst memories were the saddest and most depressing. Naruto. Great this is really cool, Miss La. Naruto. Hey, hey. Miss La. Naruto. 
I'm talking to you, Miss La. Naruto. Don't ignore me, Miss La. W. What is a child doing here, Naruto? And go with the child, are you Miss La Bael? Miss La. Yes, it's me, Naruto. Mother of Cyrorg Bael? Miss La. Yes, I am his mother, who are you, Naruto? My name is Uzumaki Naruto, and I am helping your son, Miss La. Helping Cyrorg, Naruto. Hey don't get lost, I know it's hard to stay focused, but I want you to listen to me, Miss La. Listen to what, Naruto? Ah, the time has come for you to stop helping Cyrorg, Miss La. No, he still needs my help, I still have to protect him, it's my duty as a mother, Naruto. Yes it is your duty to protect him, but you are hurting him while protecting him, Miss La. Me hurting him, it's not true, I would never do it, Naruto. Miss La San, Cyrorg Kun, he doesn't want to be protected, he wants his mother, he wants her to be with him, whether it's good times or bad, but instead you're remembering old memories, which all they do is hurt you and hold you here in your own prison, and the only thing you can do from here is give him a little of your strength to protect him when he no longer needs your protection, it's time for you to wake up, stop reliving the past and live the future, out of this prison, Miss La. I don't think I'm ready, and if something happens and my little Cyroorg gets hurt, I can't bear to see him get hurt, Naruto. I know you're scared, but let me ask you something, why do we fall, Miss La. For our weaknesses and fears, Naruto. Yes it's true, but the correct answer is, to learn to get up, no matter how difficult the future is, I know you can face it, you are a very brave and strong woman, so it's time to wake up, and forget those old memories and create new ones, at that moment the gazebo began to crumble and the black roses began to wither, and his mental space began to glow, implying that Misla was waking up from her coma. Location Misla Room, Misla. My dear Cyroorg. Cyroorg began to cry like a little child to see his mother awake and recovered, in the end, his hope never died, all the effort and dedication he made to take care of his dear mother had been rewarded. Cyroorg. Mother. I, Misla. It's okay my boy. Forgive me for leaving you alone for a long time, Cyroorg. No, it's my fault for not doing more. Forgive me, I couldn't win, I couldn't win. Misla. What if you didn't win? For me you are a winner my son. Look at you here with me and your look shows me how much you have tried. Cyroorg kept crying because of the loving words of his beloved mother. Misla. Someone told me that I couldn't sleep that much and that I was worrying you a lot. Maybe it sounds weird, but I felt happy and relieved that someone was helping you. I felt at peace with myself. Cyroorg. Thank you. Thank you. Really what you have done for me, I promise to repay you. Naruto. There is a way you can pay me Cyroorg. Cyroorg. Whatever. I will do anything. Misla looked curiously at the blonde boy, she talked to him a little but still showed incredible maturity for his young age, in addition to radiating a unique sense of security and power, only seen in great beings, Naruto. Spend time with your mother, and take good care of her, she deserves it, Cyroorg. Thank you so much. I promise I will, thank you. At that moment she entered the room Kuno, which was accompanied by Seraphal, Kuno, Chichiyu, Haha is looking for you, she says that she is very important, Naruto. Ooh my princess, she is an excellent messenger, by the way. Where are your balls? Kuno. Asleep, after eating they take a nap, Naruto. I see, I think we'll have to take them out for a walk, but tell me how you knew I'd be here, Kuno. Serafal Okasama told me where you were, but she asked for a reward, Naruto. I see, don't worry, let your Odo-san take care of it. In all the conversations that father and daughter shared, Misla is in shock. The reason for this is that a little girl was saying father to another boy of almost the same age, and not only that, but she called Seraphal Leviathan Okasama, I didn't know what was happening. Maybe the underworld turned upside down while I was asleep, Seraphal. Kuno-chan, they didn't have a message to give to your Oto-san, Kuno. It's true, Oto-san. Oka-san says that the food is almost ready, it's time to go back, Naruto. Hi, hi, it's time to go back. Well it was a pleasure to meet Miss La-san. Take good care of her Cyroorg, Misla. Wait, tell me you're really his father, Kuno. Hi, it's Kunu's Oto-san. Amazing truth, Misla. She is certainly amazing in her own way, Seraphal. Misla-san, I think you're misunderstanding something. Naru-tan is not a child, Misla. Eh, but if he is a boy and also has a daughter his age, Naruto. It's true, I'm not a child. I just took this form for fun, and as for Kuno-chan, she's really my daughter. At that moment Naruto began to change shape, growing a little taller than Seraphal, revealing his yokai's features, in all their splendor. Naruto. This is my true appearance, great no, well I think it's time to go, Cyroorg, he needs to catch up with his mother, 
Come princess it's time to go. Kuno. Hi. Goodbye. Syroorg san. Misla san. Serifal. See you later Sarah tan. Mi tan. Naruto. Ooh, it's true. Syroorg. If you ever want to train come see me. Location C tree mansion lobby. Once he finished his business with Naruto, he returned to the C tree castle. Since it was lunchtime, he also had to inform him when they would return to Kyoto, and he also had to make sure if Seraphal had everything ready, since she also wanted to live in Kyoto with him. But now the most important thing was lunch. Naruto, Kuno, Seraphal, we're home. Maid S. Welcome Naruto sama, Seraphal sama, and Kuno sama. Lunch will be served in a few minutes. Naruto. Thanks, by the way. Where is everyone, Maid S? Yasaka sama is having tea with Azami sama and Venelana sama, while Hiroshi sama is with Ziotikus sama. Naruto. I see, and the brats, Maid S, Sona sama and Ria sama, are having a confrontation to determine the lunch. Naruto. They fight to decide what they are going to eat. Well, what are they going to do? Well, let's see who wins. Location C tree mansion backyard. Once they reached the backyard of the mansion, the first thing Naruto saw was Yasaka's back. While she was drinking tea while she was talking with Azami and Venelana, her conversation seemed to be very entertaining since they did not notice her arrival. Naruto. Your conversation must be very important if you haven't noticed me yet. Perfect I want to try something. Naruto lowered his little daughter from his arms. Much to her annoyance, he returned to his shoda, little boy, form and prepared to walk very quietly towards Yusaka, after several years of practice hiding from the ambu using a suit. Bright orange, they did wonders in their concealment technique. But still, Azami and Venelana saw him, but he didn't care since he is technically walking towards them in broad daylight. He subtly placed a finger in front of his mouth sending the message of, shish, in other words, don't say anything to him they understood his very direct hint and didn't say anything, so he decided to continue with his plan and walked at a leisurely pace until he was behind Yusaka, and quickly made a substitution with a small blade that she was already doing in her lap, to exchange places and stay in her lap, which surprised her causing her tails and ears to tense up in surprise but once she saw a smaller pair of ears and tails but no she said nothing and just hugged him. Naruto. So what are you talking about? Yusaka. We were talking about your engagement with Seraphal and Grafia. Naruto. Ooh, you already know that you were going to live with us in Kyoto. Yusaka. If Grafia seems to have finished training Sirzex's wife, as for Seraphal, it seems that she will give all her work to Sirzex since there is no one who can take her place yet. Naruto. Ooh, poor Lucifer-sama, he will be so busy that he won't have any free time, Venelana. And with his wife behind him, he won't be able to slack off. Naruto. Ha 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 ha, a real pity that he doesn't know the cage bunshin, ha 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 ha. I wonder if he would go bald from so much work, Yusaka. Sears x san, bald that would be a bit funny, Azami. Ha 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 that would be hilarious, Venelana. Bald, bald, Naruto. Ha 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 ha, by the way. I heard that Sona and Rias were having a little confrontation. Sona vs Rias. Outcome. A few meters from them were Sona and Rias who were the only ones standing, as their entire retinues were lying on the ground scattered around her, and it seemed that their fight had ended a long time ago, and now they were arguing to determine who would be the winner. Naruto. It seems that most of them fainted from running out of magic power. Rias. Please Sona. Lunch has to be oriental style. Sona. I already told you it will be western style. Rias. I want to eat pasta, Sona. I want meat, Rias. This will be the last time, Sona. I'll beat you, Rias. Stone, Sona. Paper, Rias. Scissors, Rias. Sona, Rias. Yes, I win. Finally, so many hours playing video games have given results. Ha 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 ha. Sona. I lost, Rias. Lunch will be oriental style. The pasta will be ha 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 ha. Akano. Era, era. Congratulations, Bucko. Rias vs Sona, and Naruto. I expected nothing less. Yusaka. Naru, what are you doing with your cell phone, Naruto? Ah, this, you will see monitoring the surroundings of Kyoto, Azami. With your cell phone, it's amazing that you have a signal here. Venelana. It's true, we're practically underground since you don't even have a signal, Naruto. Fuinjutsu, it's wonderful with it I can see any unauthorized entry in Kyoto. I even have a radar that informs me if someone appears out of nowhere. Yusaka. I see, that's why you're so calm, Naruto. I would never leave Kyoto unprotected, especially when we're not around. Surprisingly, Naruto's cell phone was impregnated with Fuinjutsu, which transformed chakra into energy, battery, strengthened its internal battery, and amplified the signal making it capable of perceiving a signal from the underworld itself, 
and many more applications which were difficult to design. Since he had to make the software or applications work with Fuin and make it work by detecting the user's chakra cell. Asterisk 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 alert asterisk alert alert asterisk a n. Because the Fuin is great, the only thing that limits it is imagination, just like programming, location chaos bridge hair, Ophis, Uzumaki Naruto, Valley, Uzumaki, Kuroka. The new leader of Kyoto NYA, Ophis. He can help me beat Baka Red, Baku, Kakaka. If Ophis Sama wants it, we can go for it, Valley. If he is so strong, I would like to fight him, Kuroka. NYA, strong kittens, Ophis. Apparently, he is in the underworld, with the demons, Valley. Possibly, he is training my rival, Albion. It may be possible. I can feel Diedrig in the underworld, Baku. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go for him, Kuroka. NYA how can you be so stupid? We can't just go for him, Valley. Kuroka is right, we should make him come to us, and I think I already have a plan, location. Kyoto. Flying over Kyoto was Ouroboros Dragon Ophis, who looked blankly at the landscape, she only longed for his silence which she would soon recover, but for that, she needed the help of a certain individual Uzumaki Naruto, according to his sources he was really powerful. He enough to help her get rid of a certain pest that inhabited her home. Suddenly the space in front of her began to spin? And soon the person she needed appeared. It was certainly not what she thought since in front of her was a boy of almost the same height with blonde hair, blue eyes, two ears, and ten foxtails. Naruto. Well, well, but it's the leader of Chaos Bridge, Ouroboros Dragon Ophis, isn't it? Ophis. And you must be Uzumaki Naruto, Naruto. That's right, but tell me why a super developed earthworm attacks my people. Ophis, worm? By worm you mean me, Naruto. Is there another earthworm around here, Ophis? Naruto. Forget it, tell me why you are attacking my people, Ophis. I want you to join me, Naruto. Join you, Ophis. Yes, I need you, Naruto. And for that reason, you attack my people, Ophis. It was the only way to get you out, Naruto. Ooh, I see. Well I think I have to teach you a lesson, Ophis. If I defeat you, will you join me, Naruto? I don't know, maybe, but do you really think you can beat me? Ophis. It will be an easy victory, you are very weak, Naruto. Ooh, just because I'm weak doesn't mean you're stronger, does it? At that time, several magical portals appeared around Kyoto, from which the various members of Chaos Bridge came out, from fallen angels, heroes, and even demons, all responded to the call of their leader. Ophis. Go and kill all the yokai, soldiers CB. Hi, by Ophis Sama, attack, Naruto. Do you think it allows you to do it? Ophis. Once all the yokai are dead you will join me, Naruto. Ooh, it seems you didn't get it, but I still won't allow any yokai to be killed, while I'm here, soldier CB, and what will you do to stop us? Dwarf, Naruto. Just because I look small doesn't mean I'm weak, but I'll still show you, activate the barrier. At that moment in four strategically located points, a huge pillar of light was generated. Or chakra which began to move towards the center of Kyoto, at the moment of interconnecting a dome was generated, which covered all of Kyoto, forming a protective barrier, Naruto. With this, no yokai will die, the only ones to die will be you. Shinra Tensai, Ophis. You are really strong with you I will achieve my goal, and now I love you even more, Naruto. You sound like a yandere, and that really scares me, so stay away from me, Ophis. Yandere? I don't know what that is, but I'll definitely make you mine, Naruto. I'm sorry, but I'm a happily married, engaged man with a daughter, Ophis. I know that perfectly, I know you have several fiancés, Naruto. Damn, you're some kind of stalker, what else do you know about me, Ophis? Stalker? That's another term I don't understand, but I know a lot about you, Naruto. What the hell, how many crazy women are after me, Ophis? You're really interesting, now I know why Kuroka loves you too, Naruto, Kuroka? Kuro Neko Kuroka, Ophis, Kuroka. He is one of my subordinates, just like you as a yokai. Nekomata I understand he is looking for a strong male to have strong kittens? And who better than you? You are a really powerful being. Naruto. Great Yusaka-chan won't be happy at all, in that several of the members of Chaos Bridge rushed toward Naruto trying to catch him off guard in the hope of landing a blow. Naruto. Ah, they are really annoying. Shinra Tensai, and with that, several of the Chaos Bridge soldiers were thrown in various directions. Naruto. Let's see if you like swimming, Sweden, S-U-I-R-Y-U-U-D-A-N, suddenly behind Naruto, an immense water dragon appeared and with a single order, the dragon flew directly towards Ophis. Naruto. Go, dragon. 
G R O O O O O O O O W cool effects ha ha ha. Ophis calmly looked at the water dragon. She is a little shocked by the attack, but still kept a perfectly expressionless face. Shortly after the dragon divided into two more little smaller ones, but still, she didn't care and just raised her hand to block one attack. As for the other let's say that several of his subordinates were actually injured. Naruto. I see that the water didn't do anything to you. Let's see how this works Katen. G-O-U-K-A-M-E-K-K-Y-A-K-U, taking a deep breath, then released a sea of blue flames, which shot directly toward Ophis and several of the members of Chaos Bridge, who thought that they would be safe as long as they were close to their leader, which kept her look dead. Downplaying the attack, however, his soldiers did not have the same reaction, since many of them tried to defend themselves from the flames, either with barriers or another type of attack in order to face the fire, only to be engulfed by the flames. themselves. Only two attacks and almost 50% of the invading forces were annihilated, while the other 30% decided to withdraw to avoid more casualties, and the remaining 20% they decided to follow their leader, Naruto. While they are weak, only two attacks, and the rest run away with their tails between their legs, Ophis. Even with his perfectly expressionless face, Naruto could swear to have seen a smile on his face, but even so, he ignored it. Seconds later a magic circle was generated next to Ophis from which Baku, Kuro Neko Kuroka, and Valley Lucifer came out. Naruto. Gathering weak insects won't help you. Ophis. Among them there are only a few who deserve to be saved. The street demon Kuroka. Kuroka. NYA. NYA. Hello, do you know me? Naruto. Kaniko, or should I say Sharon, she told me about you, Kuroka. Do you know Sharon? Naruto. You could say that she is my student, and friend of my daughter, but you know when I found out that you killed your teacher, I thought the real reason and after investigating a deeper I discovered the truth, Kuroka, NYA, right, there's no truth I did it for power, Naruto. You know you sound like an idiot I know, but you are more beautiful, Kuroka, NYA, beautiful, Naruto, and you are Baku, the descendant of Sun Wukong, right, Baku. It is a true privilege that the leader of the yokai faction knows me, Naruto. It's natural to meet my people, after all, if one of them goes off the rails, as their leader it's my duty to correct him, isn't it? The coup. Kaka, it's true, and what will the great leader do to kill us, to give an example, Naruto? Nope, I'll punish them in a much worse way, but first I have to capture them, right? The coup. Kaka, right first he has to capture us which I doubt will happen, Kaka, Naruto. Oh seriously, but without realizing it, two clones appeared behind Baku and Kuroka, which knocked them out in a really easy and fast way and then placed a chakra restriction and suppression seal on them. A. N. The truth is I don't know if Bikou uses chakra. I think that yes since he is a descendant of Sun Wukong. Who is a yokai, Naruto. Well that was easy. Now there are only two left, Valley. You are strong, Naruto. And you're weak, pretty weak, really weak. Well from my point of view, but don't be shy come on. Bansho Tenen, Valley. But what, Albion. He is drawing us to him be careful valid. We don't know what he is capable of once we are within his reach, Naruto. Wow, I didn't know you had one of those things, what were they called? Sacred Gear, Valley. Not only do I have, but I also have the most powerful, Balance. Breaker, Albion. Vanishing Dragon, Balance Breaker. Naruto. Ooh, that's great, but you know there's no use having a powerful weapon if you're not able to draw its full power, Valley. I am Valley Lucifer, the most powerful Hakuryuko in all of history, and I will show you, Naruto, then show me. Still giving in to the force of attraction exerted by Naruto, Valley opted to stop resisting and instead flew straight at Naruto. Blinded by anger at being underestimated, he opted to attack, but just before he was touched, Naruto dodged. Naruto. That looks a bit troublesome, Valley. Ooh you realized, the moment it touches you, you will lose this fight, Albion. Valley, don't be provoked, think things through before you act, Valley. I have everything planned, you don't have to worry. While Valley argued with Albion, Naruto had his own conversation with one of his new tenants. Naruto Mindscape. Naruto. It must be really important what you want if you called me. Diedrig, or should I call you the Dragon of Domination? Sekiryute, in Naruto's mental space you could see a huge western dragon about 100 meters tall, red in color and with green eyes, which seemed to be thinking about how to express his request to the great being who was now his master. Diedrig. I'm sorry to interrupt his fun, Jubi-sama, but I wanted to ask your permission to face the Hakuryuko. Albion and I have some unfinished business to settle. Naruto. Unfinished business? They don't even remember why they started fighting in the first place, 
But you're right you too have unfinished business. Diedrig. So, Naruto. But even knowing that I can't allow you to go and start a fight, just like that if I remember correctly its previous carriers always fought, it's not true. Diedrig. That's right, Naruto. And tell me, how's the score going, Diedrig? In these 1000 years that we have been fighting, we never carried a mark, Naruto. You really can't be more idiotic, you mean to tell me that they only fought to the death every time they saw each other, Diedrig? Yes, Naruto. But what idiots, well since now you don't have a bearer it would be very unfair for the two to fight. That's why I will be your bearer and I will help you this time, Diedrig. What? Out of Naruto's mindscape, Naruto. Hey, Valley, right? And your Albion partner isn't, right, Valley? Yes. Why, are you afraid now, Naruto? Afraid of you? Ha oh, I didn't just want to tell you that someone wants to say hello to Albion. At that moment, the sacred gear boosted gear manifested in Naruto's arm, causing a huge surprise in Valley and Ophis, although the latter did not express it. Valley. How, Diedrig? Long time no see, white, Albion. Red, but like, we have no news about Hyodo Issei's death, Diedrig. Let's say that my previous carrier was not worthy, now that I think about it we have an unfinished fight, is not it, Albion. True, but I wonder if your new bearer has what it takes, Diedrig. Believe me it has more than that, the question at hand is does yours have what it takes? Naruto. As it was, so, balance. Breaker, Diedrig. Welsh dragon, balance breaker. Naruto. Ooh yes it's great to have armor, although I would have liked it more if its color was orange instead of blood red, but well what are you going to do? Let's see what you can do, Diedrig. Boost 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 28x, Naruto. H A H A H A H A H A H A. So much power. H A H A H A H A H A H A H. Now I see why they always fight. Let's see if the almighty Hakuryuko can withstand this. C H I B A K U Tensai. Valley. Ha so much show for that, Albion. Okay, we have to retreat. Valley only saw how the small black pearl rose into the sky. Seconds later an incredible gravitational force began to attract him, along with large extensions of land, the attraction force was surprisingly powerful, and little by little he gave in to the incredible gravitational force attracting him what seemed to be a small moon, even with its balance breaker activated it was impossible for him to resist, he needed all his concentration to avoid losing to the impulse, which made it difficult for him to use other means to flee, Naruto. Now let's see if you can resist this, Futon. Mini Ray's Shuriken, Albion. Valley you have to get out of here as soon as possible, Valley. That's what I try, Naruto. Too late. Seconds later the sky lit up before the immense explosion caused by Naruto's attack, which only left a large cloud of smoke in the sky. Seconds later something fell from it, Naruto. Wow, I managed to survive that, although it seems not for long, now Bansho Tenen. Naruto attracted the dying Valley, who was barely conscious. Naruto. I see that you are still conscious, in a real pity this will hurt you. A lot, Valley. What? Naruto just raised his hand towards Valley. Avoiding any kind of contact, even dying he could try something, it's better not to risk it. The saying goes, when you cut off a wolf's head, it can still bite. Seconds later Valley started screaming as hard as if his arm was ripped off, and a small blue pearl came out of his chest, which flew directly into Naruto's hand. Naruto. My little girl could use another guardian, pet, and that ends the feud between two lizards. And with that said Naruto swallowed it, Ophis only saw in disbelief what happened Valley Lucifer her strongest asset was defeated with only three attacks, and moments later he was stripped of his sacred gear, Naruto. Now, I think you and I can start, Ophis. Ophis. I don't want to fight, I just want your help to get a certain pest out of my house, Naruto. Plague? But without realizing it, Euclid Lucifuge was left behind, who was smiling since in front of him there was a small cube-shaped device, seconds later he activated it and a barrier was raised around Naruto and Ophis. Naruto. What the hell? Ophis. Naruto. A barrier. This feeling is demonic magic. I see Ophis tell me something. Who pulls the strings? Ophis. Strings? Naruto. Yes. Who told you about me? Ophis. Naruto. So there is someone. Tell me who he is and what faction he belongs to. Ophis. R. But before she could say the name of the one who told him about him, the barrier changed from red to purple. They both felt a kind of tug inside them. It was only a few seconds, but they still felt it. Naruto. But how strange, hey Ophis did you feel that? Naruto turned to see Ophis, to confirm what happened, but instead of looking at the expressionless face, he found her hyperventilating which surprised him since he thought she couldn't make other types of expressions, but he still approached her without thinking twice. Sometimes he approached her just before she lost consciousness and started to fall, and with that, 
The barrier also fell. Naruto felt a spike of demonic power and looked in her direction, only to see a silver-haired butler, who had a kind of cape covering his body leaving his head exposed, at the moment of crossing glances he bowed, which caused his cape to reveal his arm which held a strange cube, which seemed to contain the power of Ophis and his, but before doing anything the mysterious butler disappeared, in a silver magic circle. Naruto. I don't know who you are, but you will pay for this, believe me, you will pay for it, now how do I explain this? Chapter 19. The truth? Days after, Uzumaki Naruto was not happy at all, he was really furious, and all thanks to the small insects in front of him, which were nothing more and nothing less than three supposed demons, the first of them was Sears X Lucifer, the Crimson Demon, the leader of the underworld and the biggest idiot he could meet and next to him, there are two other demons from the Nibirius clan who were a couple of sacks of bones, and as soon as they entered his office they began to rant, sue and order for the custody of the street demon Kuroka, which the only thing that provoked was the growing anger of the Kitsune. His tails had been moving in a really dangerous way for quite some time, but even so he kept calm, for the moment. Naruto. It seems no matter how many times I introduce myself as a primordial god, these damned are not able to understand, and yet they insist apparently they really want me to kill them, Elder Nibirius. We order you to hand us over to the stray demon Kuroka. Elder Nibirius. That damned wretch, he must pay for what he did. The great Kitsune had incredible control over his growing anger, as he did not tear them apart after hearing their whimpers. Naruto. I don't give a damn, what any of you say plus who you think you are, that you are ordering me to hand Kuroka-chan over to you, Sears X. Naruto Dono, please you have to understand. Unfortunately, some idiot always wants to scratch the lion's eggs, or in this case, touch the fox's tails. Naruto. No, the one who has to understand is your Lucifer, that we have an alliance does not mean that he must obey your orders or this pair of old bags of bones. Elder Nibirius. How dare you, you don't know who I am. Naruto. No, I don't know and even if I did I don't give a damn. Shit. Elder Nibirius. You will be. Disgusting yokai, you should. Naruto. Amaterasu. Elder Nibirius. Ah, Elder Nibirius, Sears X. Naruto. They are really stupid, it appears they don't know who you're talking to. I'm J-U-U-B-I not Kitsune. A primordial, in front of me they are not more than simple insects. Sears X. Naruto dono. I think we overdid it a bit. Naruto. A little. Sears X Lucifer you more than anybody should know that you can't order me anything. But still you still don't understand it now I'm just saying it one more time to make it clear so listen well. The street demon T-O-U-J-O-U-K-U-R-O-K-A. You are under my protection. Elder Nibirius. She can't do that, she's a demon, as well as a criminal. Sears X. It's true Naruto dono, she's a half demon as well as an assassin. Naruto. He may be a half demon but he was born a yokai, but if you're worrying that he's a demon, don't worry, he'll stop being soon, Sears X. Will it cease to be? Naruto. And about being a killer, I know that's not true, oh they think I'm stupid, Elder Nibirius. You don't know what happened that day, she's a killer. Naruto. I don't have to give explanations, she now withdraw Lucifer and take that old witch with you, Sears X. Wait Naruto don't know, Naruto. But keep in mind one thing, try something against Kuroka Chan, and I'm really going to fuck you like you can't imagine. Without further ado Sears X and the old witch left, that was a normal morning for Naruto. Now he had to enjoy the rest of his day after his little game against Chaos Bridge, which ended in a massacre so to speak, which apparently it was a distraction, and keeping him distracted with Ophis and her little group, which was more than humiliated, but good things came out of it, since getting a new pet for his princess, he assured two yokai who were, fugitives. Yep. Everything has its good side, except for the ending of course, since a strange individual apparently achieved his goal, which apparently was to steal a bit of his chakra, the truth was he didn't care since it was very little. What he took, the bad thing in itself was Ophis, apparently, they stole more from him than from him and he is currently unconscious, and now thanks to that he has to take care of her, and avoid another clash between them but that will be in the future since she is asleep in a special room which has various stamps. Naruto. Finally some peace, I should check out our special guest. Naruto set out to check on his special guest, which was obviously Ophis, who seemed to be in a kind of coma, as his medical team deduced it was to recover faster, the truth was he wasn't afraid of Ophis, it was certainly an of the most powerful beings that exist, being the dragon god of infinity or Oboro's dragon Ophis, but even so, it was not a real challenge for him, possibly Great Red or the supposed 666 Trihexa, maybe they will give him a challenge, once close to Ophis room could see a small golden tail, which belonged to her little princess, she was really interested in the special guest, 
but still proceeded to enter the room as followed by little Kuno, only to see that I was still asleep, Naruto, and to think that he is one of the most powerful beings, Kuno. Oto-san, do you think he'll wake up late? Naruto. I don't know, it seems he lost a lot of his power so he has to sleep to get it back, although it really does look like a corpse, Kuno. I see, Oto-san can I stay a while longer, Naruto. As long as you don't bother her, and don't play pranks on her, Kuno. But if you painted his face with a marker, Naruto. It was part of a highly certified medical treatment, Kuno. You also took several photos, and some of them while stepping on it, Naruto. It was part of the protocol, and they were necessary photos for registration, Kuno. Oto-san you were in your child form, Naruto. Yep, proof of a Shota's victory over a lowly. Kuno. Okay, but once she wakes up I want to ask her if she wants to be my friend, Naruto. You can ask him, once he wakes up, time jump, it's been three weeks since Ofis is unconscious, she is still receiving her treatment and it seems that she shows remarkable improvements, possibly soon she will wake up as for Kuroka and Baku, they are receiving their penance, even though the one who is really suffering is the last one since when Sun Wukong found out about him coming back, and let's say he asked to be Baku's manager, their reunion was really something beautiful, almost as good as his with Minato, flashback, home, Baku, old fart you're still alive, Sun Wukong, damn brat, be thankful that Naruto-sama let me take care of your punishment, Baku, punishment? We are not supposed to be imprisoned, Sun Wukong, sure, they're marked and can't run away, even if they wanted to, but I still think it's very little, so I ask to be the one in charge of correcting you since you're my descendant, I have to take care of it, so be prepared, after that Sun Wukong produced to discipline his young descendant of him, in an educational process that consisted of blows to different parts of the body, focusing more on the head, Baku, damn old man, stop hitting me, Sun Wukong, who are you calling an old, rude brat, Baku, to you old monkey, don't you think it's time for you to go to the next life, because the hell you're still alive old man, Sun Wukong. Ooh, I think I've been too soft with your punishment, now you'll see what this old monkey can do. After that, only Baku's screams were heard, which consisted of insults and silly questions. Flashback end. As for what happened later, well, several people heard several rather manly screams for the next few hours, after that beautiful family reunion it was time to witness the reunion of two lizards which began to fight, apparently, it was not pleasant to see each other again soon as Albion and Diedrich began to discuss and mock their new forms and status, and thanks to three more balls which proudly asserted their position by their number. Flashback home, Diedrich. Ha ha ha. But just look at the great and mighty Albion, being defeated by none other than me the great and powerful Diedrich. Albion. You saw luck that's all, Diedrich. Luck ha. I don't believe in luck, I believe in destiny which helped me win. Albion. Fate does not exist, Diedrich. Albion, Albion, Albion. Look at you now you're just a little dragon, Albion. I may be small, but at least I'm not a ball. Fafner, you along, Vritra, Diedrig. No, we care about being balls, we are more than proud to be Albion. Pride? They're fucking balls, pets, they even have a necklace with their new names, Fafner, you along, Vritra, Diedrig. And we wear it with pride, Diedrig. Not true guys, Fafner. It's true, this is the true form of happiness, you long. Right. Right, we are in paradise itself and it is ours, Vritra. Besides, we don't have to do almost anything. Diedrig. We just have to be pretty and chubby, right guys, Fafner, Vritra, too long. That's right, chubby and pretty, Albion. Where did the pride of the dragons go, or dragon kings, are yours as a celestial dragon, Diedrig. Pride. Ha. Pride doesn't fill my stomach, let alone put food in my mouth. Now tell me what gave you pride, huh? Nothing just an absolute defeat with your supposed maximum carrier, Fafner, Vritra, too long. H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A. H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A-H-A. Ha 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 ha. Albion. That's it, now you'll see fucking super inflated balls. I'm going to deflate them. Fafner, you long. Vritra, Diedrig. Come and try it, if you can, loser, Albion. Now you will see. After that. A small pitched battle broke out in the room which moved to the backyard where the bijus were sunbathing. Bijus. La 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 la. These that itch, just ignore them. How noisy, they don't let you sleep. At first, they didn't care about their little quarrel and went about their business. Shukaku creating sand sculptures. Shukaku. Look at this little one. This is the true face of art, of the great Shukaku. Kaka. Kuno. Wow. Shukaku Ojisan is amazing. Matabi. 
Kakuo, and Saiken talked about girl things, Matabi. Maybe my kitty will like Naruto-chan. Kakuo. I don't think he has a chance, and if not, he needs to get the go-ahead. Saiken. Maybe, I'll just ask yusaka san While Sun and Chomei competed to see who was faster, they are this obstacle course. I have more than one. Chomei. I don't think so, I have luck on my side, Gyuki and Isobu rested by the pond, Gyuki. This is life. Isobu. It's true, and the water is more than perfect, and Kurama slept under the shade of a tree, Kurama. Ease, 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 everything was calm for the bijus, but all good things have an end, which consisted of annoying Shukaku destroying his sand creations, that's where everything went to hell. Seconds later his brothers also entered the fight, claiming that only they can annoy Shukaku, for being the younger brother, all of this being seen by his sisters who only thought that they were idiots, the thing did not happen to adults, since they stopped them in their tracks, stating that if they continued he would come to end things not so peacefully as he may be the lesser but he was still the stronger. Flashback. End. Naruto. These weeks have been the busiest in all my immortal life, Yusaka. Come on Naru, it's not long now. Grafia. It's true Naruto-sama, it's just a few more things we have to check on the guest list. Gabriel. We still have to choose the design of the invitations and the cake, Hestia. You really don't have anyone to invite. Seraphal. Naru Tan, you should also invite someone, Naruto. Unfortunately I don't have anyone to invite, but honestly, it doesn't matter. Hestia. Why do you say that, Naruto? It's simple you are the only thing I need to be happy, and my princess, and once we get married you will be my family, Yusaka. By the way, Naru, what happened to Kuroka-chan, Seraphal, Grafia? It's true that it happened to her, we haven't seen her, Hestia. You punished her too, dear, Naruto. Well I talked to her a bit and gave her a lot to think about, Gabriel. The last time I saw her, her heart was in a lot of pain, Naruto. It's true, she reminds me a lot of someone's, Hestia. I keep thinking, why did she do it, Naruto? She did it for love, and love makes us do crazy things, some worse than others. Flashback. Home. Naruto was enjoying a delicious tea. When he saw his beautiful daughter playing with her uncles, while their pets slept under a tree, a somewhat peculiar view. This was what he was looking for as a child, a family to be loved, but above all to be happy, and now he had everything he dreamed of as a young man, his beautiful wife Yusaka, and his greatest treasure, his beautiful and beloved daughter Kuno. Kuno. Look Oto-san, Shukaku Oji-san made a figure of me, Shukaku. I'm the best when it comes to sand sculpture, bijus, smug, Naruto. It's really beautiful, but it still doesn't beat the original, Kuno. If it's true, the original is always better. Ha ha ha. Now he was really happy. He had a beautiful family, and of course, in the future, he also married Seraphal, Grafia, Gabriel, and Hestia, and loved them in the same way as Yusaka. He still can't believe that she was the one who suggested forming his little harem. At first he may not accept it, but after spending time with her and getting to know them, he came to more than love them. They were part of his life and happiness, and for his love, he would be willing to do anything for them, even destroy this world, but now he has to deal with another matter of greater importance, Naruto. Okay now why don't you come out Kuroka-chan, Kuroka, Naruto. Come let's talk a little, Kuroka. Where is Baku, Valley and Ophis, NYA, Naruto. Baku, she's getting her punishment from Sun Wukong, Kuroka. Punishment? NYA. Screams from Baku and Sun Wukong, between insults and laughter, Naruto. Well that answers where Baku is, as for Valley let's say she lost something very important, Kuroka. Something important? NYA, Naruto. Yep lost, his so dear sacred gear, Kuroka. Did you kill him? NYA, Naruto. Kill him, that's it, just take it away, Shif, 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 Naruto. Albion stop crying and go out and play once and for all, casting his gaze over his shoulder, behind Naruto is a small white dragon, who was depressed and crying. Mad Albion, one of the two celestial dragons. Albion. I look like a cartoon, where is my magnificent form, my beautiful white color with blue touches, Naruto. Get over it, that's still your true form just more compressed, Kuroka. But how? NYA, Naruto. Let's say that I am their new bearer, only that with certain advantages one of them is that they can come out, although they are still inside me, Albion. The great and powerful Albion, the one who stole the principles of supremacy, is reduced to a simple pet, the good thing is that I have a little more freedom, but now he is my bearer, Naruto. Hey, what's wrong with being your new bearer, Albion? Ooh, nothing just that I'm still impressed, having four sacred gear inside you and on top of those nine, Naruto. Well, what can I say, I'm like a big house, 
Ha 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 Naruto big house ha 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 ha. Although my brothers are still lazy, you should go out to stretch your legs every now and then. Kuroka. Wait like four sacred gear, NYA, Naruto. You see I have Diedrig, Albion, Vritra, Fafner, and Yu Long, although the latter is more like a pet since it was not a sacred gear. The more Naruto talked, the more Kuroka was impressed, since from his back came two white and blue wings which belonged to Albion, his right arm had the red gauntlet with green orbs which belonged to Diedrig, while in his left hand had another smaller black gauntlet with purple stones which represented Vritra, and finally a golden chain with a purple stone on his neck, which belonged to Fafner. Albion. With so many sacred gear, in your possession, you could defeat anyone. Naruto. It's true, but that would make it more boring. Every once in a while a challenge doesn't hurt. Besides you are not tools, you are living beings and should be treated as such, but remember who doesn't work doesn't eat. Albion. And what does that have to do with? Naruto. Ooh not really, ooh princess Tilda, it wasn't long until little Kuno answered her father's call. Kuno. You called me Oto-san, Naruto. Yep, look what I have for you, Kuno. Woo, another pet, Albion. What? Pet, Naruto. Yes pet, why don't you take it with the others, Kuno. Hi, black, green, red, gold, they will love their new friend, your name will be, white, Naruto. Now Kuroka, why don't we talk about your supposed, crime, Kuroka. Talk, there's nothing to talk about, kill even a demon, nothing more and nothing less, Naruto. What I want to know is why did you kill him, Kuroka. I did it to test my senjutsu, my new power, Naruto. You can't fool me, Kuroka-chan I can see it in your eyes, the pain, and sadness, Kuroka. How sad, how painful, I am a very happy sentry box, NYA, Naruto. Kuroka-chan, tell me why you lie, what are you afraid of, Kuroka. I'm not afraid of anyone, Naruto. I see, tell me it's for Kaneko, you're afraid that they'll hurt her, Kuroka. No, no, I, Naruto. Well if you don't want to tell me why, I won't force you, Kuroka. NYA? Naruto. But instead let me tell you a story, Kuroka. Naruto. You see a long time ago, I met a boy named Uchiha Sasuke, he came from one of the three founding clans of our village, the Uchiha clan and he himself believed to be from the elite. Whenever I saw him he seemed to have a stick stuck in the butt, Kuroka. I know how to sound like he's an idiot, but what does this have to do with me, NYA? Naruto. It's true, he is an idiot and he has a lot to do with you since, the reason why he became a real jerk, is almost the same as what happened to you and Kaneko, it all started in our childhood, Kuroka. Naruto. You see, our childhood was not exactly something we wanted to remember, I was considered a demon, hated and rejected by many, I was always alone, and instead he had everything I always wanted, but one night everything changed, he lost it everything and for that, he was considered a saint so to speak, loved and praised by many, he was considered a god, they gave him everything without even asking for anything in return, while instead, I continued without change, I began to smile, hiding my pain with a mask, to deceive others and myself, instead the good guy stuck a stick up his ass, started behaving like a real jerk, and everyone gave him everything on a silver platter, while others have to look for food in the garbage, enduring looks and whispers from people. But anyway, we're getting sidetracked, at first I never knew why Sasuke changed so much and started hating everyone, and he only had one goal to kill his older brother Uchiha Itachi and would do anything to to get the power to kill him, he even left our village and became a renegade, I tried to stop him, I even fought him, but I still failed and he escaped sometime later, I thought that when he fulfills his objective he will return, but then I learned the truth, a truth that many refused to even seek or even see, Kuroka, the truth, Naruto, you will see Uchiha Itachi, a prodigy without equal, he was the best of his generation, he was loved and praised by many, especially his little brother, but one day it seems that everything changed and became more serious and even colder. Kuroka. Because I change, NYA, Naruto. As far as his father, the leader of the Uchiha clan, came to know, he incited several members of the clan to carry out a coup, they wanted to overthrow the Hokage, the leader of the village so that he would take command, and to achieve this they did wouldn't mind unleashing a civil war just so his clan would be at the top of the chain of power, Itachi being a prodigy at the age of 11 entering Anbu, the dark side, are short for Ansatsu Senjutsu Tokushu Butai, the special squad of assassination and tactics, and called, Anbu Special Forces, Kuroka. Wow, Naruto. Yes wow, he was a true prodigy, but we got off topic, you see the ANBUS, only serves the Hokage, but Itachi's father thought that being his son and a member of the clan, his loyalty is with him over that of the Hokage, so I order him to be a spy, 
but not everything goes as planned, Kuroka. What happened? Naruto. Well Itachi was a double spy, he informed the Hokage about his father's plan, and he was assigned his mission, Kuroka, mission? Naruto. Yes, his mission was his own cross, he was ordered to kill his entire clan, leaving no survivors, he fulfilled his mission, well Itachi almost left his little brother alive, Kuroka, Uchiha Sasuke. Naruto. Yep, but every action has a reaction, and by leaving his brother alive I practically condemn him, he made Sasuke walk a path of hatred and darkness, all because of the decisions his brother made, who only wanted to protect him, now you find similarity? Kuroka, no? Naruto. Kuroka you are like Itachi, you preferred to bear your own cross, for Kaneko-chan's happiness, at the cost of your own happiness, I think you killed your former teacher to protect her, right? Kuroka. Dot yes, he wanted to use her as a guinea pig, he wanted her to be as strong as a super demon and then he would use us as breeding machines, after all, that I did so that he would not touch her, all those tortures and experiments that I endured to protect her and, even so, he wanted to use her as if she were a laboratory rat, I did not endure it and killed him. Naruto. Gur, it certainly was a curse, and I'm so glad to know that he's dead, but still, your actions caused Kaneko to hate you, she thinks you abandoned her, that you sold her, or that you used her as a scapegoat, when in fact you protected her by condemning yourself, tell me Kuroka-chan what are you afraid of? Kuroka. I. I don't know. Naruto. Kuroka-chan, look at me, Kuroka. Naruto. Tell me what you're afraid of, Kuroka. Losing my little Sharon, to be used and discarded as if she were a mere object, Naruto. Why are you scared, Kuroka? I don't know, Naruto. Kuroka-chan, tell me who I am. Kuroka. Uzumaki Naruto, the Jubi no Kitsune and the leader of the Yokai faction, Naruto. Okay now tell me who are you, Kuroka. I'm Kuroka, the street demon, Naruto. No, who are you really, Kuroka? I am Kuroka, and I am a Nekomata Yokai, Naruto. That's right, and I, Uzumaki Naruto, am the leader of the Yokai faction. My duty is to protect all the yokai, and that includes both you and Kaneko Chan. That's why he declared that the Nekomatas Tju Kaneko and Tju Kuroka are under my protection, and no one and nothing can hurt you or your sister, Kuroka. Wait, why are you doing all this, Naruto? Because Kaneko Chan is a friend of my little girl, and because I don't want to have another Sasuke running around looking for power to get revenge, I've had enough with the first one who has a stick up his butt. Besides, I don't like to see to such a beautiful kitten so sad. Kuroka, NYA, Naruto. There is also a saying, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That's why it's called, present, so smile and forget the past, don't think about the future, just enjoy the present, and think about what we talked about. Kuroka was really impressed. Uzumaki Naruto the leader of the yokai faction, not only did he read her as if it were a book, but he was also protecting her, many were only interested in themselves, or for their own selfish desires which consisted of using her for a purpose or seek to sleep with her. The previous Sekiryute bearer, Hyodo Ise was one. He sought her body only to satisfy his desires, but Uzumaki Naruto was really different he did not seek to use her or sleep with her, not he sought to cure his heart, help her mend her relationship with her sister, he really cared about her and that gave him quite a few points. Kuroka. Uzumaki. Naruto. Uzumaki Kuroka doesn't sound bad, NY. Flashback. End. Unknown location, laboratory, reservum, Euclid, tell me how the project is going, LU number 009, Euclid. Yes, my lord, fortunately, this specimen was able to adapt and assimilate both energies, it was certainly a miracle since previous attempts resulted in resounding failure. Reservum. Perfect, speeds up the growth process as well as initiates mental conditioning, Euclid. But reservum sama, if both processes are used at the same time, the subject may not survive, it would be a physical as well as a mental burden. Resivum. M. Make him grow up to 8 years old, after the conditioning process begins, I don't care about the res, Euclid. As ordered by Resivum Sama, behind the faithful servant, there was a large tank, which contained an unconscious girl of no more than 4 years old, black hair with blonde, reddish tips, which was relatively a bit long, but her face had peculiar features. Marks two whiskers on each cheek. The little girl seemed to be part of a bizarre experiment since she currently had several wires connected, which came from oxygen, and several somewhat strange substances. End chapter.